This is part two of our non-fictional literacy project where we're creating a booklet using Microsoft Publisher. Uh, part two focuses on finding pictures online, online and saving them in our H drive in our folder that we made in part one. So the assumption is that you saved the template, the publisher template, that's going to be your booklet. So make sure that you did do that first before you move on to part two. All right, this is kind of the fun part. This part really can distract students. They take too much time. So make sure that you're focused at this time and not dwelling too much on photos or pictures. So make sure you know what you want, you find it, and you're very quick and use your time efficiently because this is where a lot of kids get lost because they're so focused on the pictures. They lose track of time and they end up not completing their book because they're spending so much time on a photo or a picture. That's not what this project's about. This project is about what you are writing and you're taking a couple of pictures and connecting them with what you're writing in your booklet. So please be very efficient with your time, use your time wisely and be quick about what pictures you're gonna use and get back to your writing because that's really what this is about. So again, I'm doing the history of cheese. So I might want some pictures of cheese. I'm going to put in cheese in the search and hit images. See what happens. And we have to be careful when we're looking on the internet because you don't know what's going to pop up. You have to be very careful. And as we all know, I think we've experienced this, is as you scroll down, there's just more and more things about what you typed. Uh, my topic's cheese. What I've noticed uh, just spending time looking for things on the internet is that as I scroll through all these pictures, as I get towards the farther I go or towards the bottom or more pages I go into, it gets less and less focused on what the topic is. Uh, I could change cheese to history of cheese. That might help because that's what my book's about. And I get a lot of different pictures about cheese and this might be something I want to use. I already see one picture on here that's probably not appropriate for school. So I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to focus on it. I'm not going to use it. Uh, you might not see one on here. But uh, yeah, there, I mean, there's one kind of in the lower left hand corner I probably want to use because uh, it has cheese with a glass of wine. So I'm just going to ignore that one. And that's something that you guys have to think about when you're looking on the internet and not make a big deal about it. I think I kind of like this older picture of someone making cheese. So I'm going to click on that. I'm using Google right now. So I like that picture. And what I traditionally do is I go over here to view original image. I click on that. Then I just get the image because that's all I want is the image. And then I right click and right clicking gives me some options and I'm going to go copy or I could do save picture as either one. Yeah, let's do save picture as this. This is a little different way, but I want you to understand the logic behind it. So save picture as and then I can get all these choices and this prompts me what drive to save it. And I think it's important maybe to do a save picture as over just the copy. I'm going to go into my name, the H drive. This is where you just don't click save. You have to go into your name, into the H drive, and find that folder you created in part one. And I'm going to give it a name. I actually like the name it has. It says History Rebirth Cheese. Um, that kind of helps me out. But if it's a really crazy name or a name that doesn't really apply, just change it. And I hit save. Hit save. And then I just hit the back button. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, I go up here and I just hit this little X out close button. 
and I can move on. I do like this one of Napoleon holding the thing of cheese that's kind of funny. Uh, this cartoon one here in the kind of the center is kind of cool. Uh, but I, there's all kinds of pictures. So let me find another one real quick. And I'll show you the process one more time. Oh, those people carrying the cheese wheels is kind of cool. Oh, those people making it is kind of neat. I'm going to go back to the top there. I like this guy here that's kind of holding the big wheel of cheese. So I'm going to click on that. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm going to click on View Original Image. I'm going to right click on the image, get these options, and hit Save Picture As. Now what's nice is if you already did this once, it's going straight into your H drive, but double check. It's always good to double check. So one way to do it is the picture I saved earlier is right there. And then the other way is if I go up here to the top, you can see where it's going. It says Computer, Gabriel Knowles. At the end says H drive, and then after that's the folder that it goes into. And from part one, where we just created our folder, I called it cheese, if you remember. And now I'm confident this cheese picture is going into the cheese folder. If you're a little unsure, just click on your H drive and go through that process again. So click on your name, find your folder, mine's cheese, hit save. And now I know it's there. I'm going to show you another trick real quick. Actually, I'll save one more picture. Let's do this real quickly. Oh, maybe. So let's say I like uh, the big cheese picture here. I like that. So I'll view original image. Click, save picture as, find my folder, find cheese. Now, you can't really see what these pictures are, so one trick to see them is go over here where my mouse is. It says change your view. Click on the little arrow and click on one of these icons. And then you can see, oh, those are the pictures I saved. That's kind of nice. So you, can always, you always have the option for that. So then you can see what pictures you've saved in case you're doing this more than one day. Hit save. And you're done. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Take care.